our community suffers from the most absurd critique from the non-Jewish world and Lahabdu from the Jewish world, from those inside and from those outside, people who glory in non-Jewish values, who pretend to be intellectuals, who think of themselves as understanding reality, they have no clue. They have no clue. But they belittle us. They stand with their chutzpah and their enormous self-confidence. And many are, are depressed. Many feel a lack of self-confidence, a lack of solidity, because they have such prestige. Their voices stride the world. And this is predicted about the last period of history, that we will face this terrible, terrible challenge. This is all rooted in the loss of the Beis HaMikdash. That being the case, when we dive in for the rebuilding of the Beis HaMikdash, we ought to have this in mind. And I must tell you, about 10 years ago, I saw an article from a non-traditional author who said, mourning the Beis HaMikdash is out of date. How are you going to express the Chorban, the destruction? Look at Jerusalem today. Look at the streets, the parks, the vast housing complexes. Look at the stadiums and the art galleries and the concert halls. How can you say that your Shalayim is destroyed? What are you mourning? Let's look at the bracha that we say in the Shemon Esrei. To Jerusalem, your city, in mercy, return. Dwell in it as you have spoken. And rebuild it speedily in our days. An eternal building. The building comes third. The building comes third. First, you should return. And second, your shechina should dwell there. And third, build the buildings and pave the roads and make the housing complexes. And the stadium is for mass shiurim. And the concert halls for simple space of shoeva or for, for other kind of indoor shiurim in the winter. The shell, the physical shell, that's not what we're davening for. I was amazed that someone could write such an article. We're davening for the return of the Shechina. It's the lack of the Shechina that causes us all of these contemporary sorrows. And that's what we have to be focused on in trying to build, bridge the gap between our distance from the temple in physical terms, in, time, in terms of history, and our feelings for the temple that have to be contemporary.